Why, hello there, traveler. How can I help you today? Well, you look like you need some help, so... I imagine that you're in the midst of a pretty big journey, and you've come to me to acquire some of my strongest potions and salves and what have you. Hmm. Yeah, so that's what I thought. Or maybe you're after a little something to ward off the creatures that come around here at night. You didn't know about the creatures. Hmm. Well, I'm glad I could tell you then. Yes, we think that they might be of the vampiric descent. We keep finding animals, lots of animals, just completely bloodless, sucked dry down by the base of the mountain. That way? Oh, that's where you're staying. Ah, uh, well... The inn itself is very nice. Beautiful place, and, um, the gentleman who owns it, the one who runs that inn, he's new here, too. So I think he's looking to make his reputation very shiny, well-liked, so I'm sure he'll give you some wonderful amenities if you so ask for them. Just don't go out at night, and you'll be fine. Depending on how much you purchase today, maybe that uh, warding off potion, that'll be on the house. What do you think? Well, very good, very good. Seeing as the day is ending and the sun is setting, we have no time to lose, do we? We have just enough time, in fact, for me to make you a few potions, get you settled, and then you can be on your merry way straight back off to the inn. Don't make any other stops. That would be my, my suggestion, and I've been here for quite a while, so I would recommend you heed it. All right, well, let's get a good look at you then. Are you looking for things in particular? Mm -hmm. Firstly, and most importantly, what is your budget? Okay, okay, so we have a little bit to work with here. What kind of adventure are you on? Mm, I see. Very noble. What kind of weapon do you use? Okay. And uh, do you know any magic? Tell me about the people in your party. I can't imagine that you're traveling alone. You don't look nearly strong enough to be tackling anything by yourself. Although, you did make it this far, so you can't be too fresh-faced. You are traveling with the party. I've seen enough. Very good. Can you tell me a bit about those people as well? Mm-hmm. Okay. I see. So, thinking about that, thinking about your current state, which I'll be examining in a bit further detail in a moment, um... And thinking about your budget, of course. I think I would recommend a stamina potion, a stealth potion, a recovery potion, and then I'll throw in that creature warding off potion for free, because I am so kind and so generous. Wonderful. Well then, I want to go ahead and take a look at you. I'm not just a potion maker, potion seller. I am an apothecary, so I can check you for any health-related concerns, injuries, lesions, what have you. 
Hmm. Let me get out my seeing glass here. Go ahead and raise your arms for me. Mm -hmm. Any burns? Okay. Are any of your bones broken? I see. How about, um, oh. I see a few quills right on your hands. You were poking around the dens down by the river, weren't you? Yes, yes, yes. Nasty creatures down there. They'll get you. Well, I can take care of those quills for you if you'd like. Just a small price. Hmm. It won't hurt. I'll simply be using my tweezers here. And you just need to hold steady. And four. Hmm. Well, if you were a seasoned traveler, you would probably be more familiar with what those dens look like, and that you should absolutely stay away from them. But an easy fix nonetheless. Next, I'm going to be testing your state of mind. Go ahead and close your eyes for me. Now take a big deep breath in through your nose. And out through your mouth. In through your nose. And out through your mouth. Now, why are you here alone? The other members of your party didn't wish to join you. Mm. I see. You look surprisingly healthy. Now, let's start with our stamina potion. Oh, I make a wonderful stamina potion. You're going to absolutely love it. First, I'll need to get out my mixing bowl. This is where the magic happens. Well, technically, I can't legally call myself a magician, but I may as well. First, some fungi. Not just any fungi. I'm quite proud of my stock of this. Ah, uh, never seen quite so many in one place, have you? Alright. I just have a knack for finding fungi and things in the forest. We need just the right amount. I'm not going to be wasting this on you. Not without a fair price anyway. There we go. 
room. Just about. Perfect. This is the first ingredient to be added. Now alone, these would kill you. So please, just because I'm showing you how I'm making the potions, don't think that you can just gallivant around the land, consuming things that you thought you saw in my humble business. That would be very bad for you indeed. So, just keep that in mind. Next. A bit of oven dough. It's an herb. Mm -hmm. Hard to come by as well. You see, oven dough only grows right after a rain and it dies very quickly so you have to pluck it as fast as you can we've gotten lucky with the weather we truly have because it hasn't rained so much that we're all drowning but just enough that it's yielded quite good crops and things so we need a bit of this i'm going to roll up into a little mashed ball here and that's what really gets the properties released and that gets added in Simple enough. Yes, you can smell the changes already. Have you ever considered going into potion making? No, no, no. You couldn't possibly be tied down. I understand. Now this amylase crystal, you wouldn't believe where it comes from. You won't be consuming this, but what I need to do is simply wave it around the top of the combination so far, just a few times. This is going to infuse the stamina potion with my specialty. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. My stamina is different than any other stamina that you'll get at different shops that you come across. Trust me, trust me. You'll see and you'll remember. And you'll come back for more. That stays there. Finally, some dragon bean. Not actually from dragons, it's just what they call it. Well, if it were actually from dragons, I I don't think you could afford this potion. No. <laughs> uh -huh. This has incredible energetic properties. don't want to overdo this portion, otherwise, well, you might go insane from the lack of sleep. So I'm just going to pour in one small cup's worth. There we are. I 
They smell delightful. Absolutely. I'm gonna wake them up a little bit before we pour them in. Nothing worse than inactivated dragon bean. Now, once these are activated and added to our mixture, it will become liquefied. And I can pour it in a nice, convenient bottle for you to carry. Here we go. And gently... instructions on this stamina potion. Well, for mine, I like to tell my customers, simply drink this when your energy feels depleted. You can split it in fourths if you'd like to share it with your party or drink a little bit at a time. However, the whole bottle will do you just fine. Especially if you had a very, very tough evening, you haven't slept for a day or two, and you really need to keep moving. One bottle will probably be just enough to cover that. You can't really overdose on it, it's just how long you can stay sane while being awake. It will give you a nice boost of energy. The taste is not so bad compared to other potions. It's Tangy, flavorful, mm, naturally warm, actually, from the buzzing. Mm. Okay, so now that this is ready, I'll pour it into a container for you. As you can imagine, the stamina potion, as high quality as it is, is a bit pricey. Now, you're not just paying for my ingredients. No, no, you're paying for my expertise, my knowledge, my years of work, education, and foraging. Knowing exactly how much to measure and put in for you as to not poison you. So yes, it'll be a bit pricey. Okay. Here we are. Your stamina potion. Give it a little shake. And like I said, this one's taste is actually quite nice. You could drink this right away if you need it, or it can store for quite a long time, up to a year, I believe. Sometimes I make them in bulk and have sales, especially over the winter time when I don't want to be foraging. Alright, well, one stamina potion for you. Uh uh uh, don't touch it yet, you haven't paid me. But we'll keep that there for the time being so we can get started on your next one. Let's see. Your stealth potion. I think we'll do that one next. Now, from what you told me, it sounds like you need a potion that will help you move undetected from one place to another, no matter how crowded, no matter how conspicuous the area. You will be able to pass by undetected. Now, legally, I cannot sell this as an invisibility potion, because technically, you aren't invisible, but it would be quite hard for people to notice you. You would have to try very, very, very hard to get someone to notice you after you've taken a drink of the stealth potion. 
Well, if people are wearing, you know, your enemies have anti-stealth equipment on their person, that may be able to see through it. It's kind of a give and take depending on who made the equipment, but items could only get you so far. Potions could only get you so far. If you are acting slyly, if you already are moving without a trace, the stealth potion on top of that, well, you should be almost perfectly safe. I just have to give you my disclaimers before I send you off. All right, so let's begin. We're going to need a few drops of liquid blink root. I thought so. I wasn't sure whether we needed the liquid or powdered form. I think for your case, the liquid will be much better. Now, the blink root here. We just need a few drops. It's a... gorgeously powered liquid here. I better measure it. Just a few drops here. Good. And almost immediately, we add crushed moon glow seeds. As that combines, some simple purified water. Three days in the sunlight, three days in the moonlight, and then bottled. This gives us our substance, makes it a bit easier to drink. And then, we stir together with the dried gullet of an imp, the only thing they are good for. Would you like to keep it? Well, I can't use it again. I'll throw it in for free. Finally, we give a little sprinkling of void basil right here. Like so. As we can see. 
see here the mixture is beginning to turn a beautiful solid cream color. Tastes almost like a wisp of silk. Very, very mild. Very good, very good. Let me bottle this for you. Now the effectiveness of the stealth potion will depend on how much you drink. A potion bottle of this size should get you about up to three hours time. A swig, just about a minute to get in and get out. You can give it a little shake. Sometimes the ingredients become slightly separated, which might render it a little less effective. So make sure it's combined well. This will last only a few months, so be sure not to hold on to it too long. Use it wisely. But, nonetheless, not too expensive compared to some of my other potions. Perhaps another time. Your health potion. Everyone needs a good health potion. Now I must again give you my disclaimers here. This can cure fevers, grow back one limb, including five fingers or five toes, repair other flesh wounds, um, contusions, head traumas, but it can't heal a broken heart. No. Actually, if your heart stops beating, it will not revive you. No. So be sure to use it before then. Now, this is a very quick one to make. Luckily, I have perfected the craft. It does come with one caveat. You must let the potion sit for at least 24 hours before you consume it. It has to settle and combine in the bottle. Other than that, it's by far one of the best ones I've ever crafted. Alright, so to get started, we need some storm leaf tea. This is the crux of the recipe here. Now, if you decide to become a bit of a forager yourself, you can actually source your own storm leaf tea in the woods. And if you brew it with a nice hot cup of water, it will act almost like a recovery potion light. There are small cuts, abrasions, light burns, things of that nature. This is what it looks like when it's all combined. You can give it a smell. We start with a few scoops. Any more than three, and it's a bit much. You can also purchase storm leaf tea in bulk. I personally don't offer it here, but if you're continuing on the next town over, 
go to the Moonlight Cottage. Next, we need to add in a bit of Angel's Molasses. Oh, it's very difficult to come by as the process of creating it is so convoluted, but that's what makes my recovery potions top notch. Now to pour this in, let's use a bit of a helping hand here. evenly distributed. Next, a generous amount of dissolved mountain bark. Here we are. Such a sweet smelling liquid. Ah, it fizzes. And we top it with some. There we are. River paprika. Simple as that. Yes, the aroma is quite intoxicating. I do claim to have the best tasting health potion. Well, the best tasting one I've ever tried anyway. If you come across one better, bring it back to me. I'll pay you a hefty sum. up. Here we have one health potion. Once again, you won't be able to consume this for 24 hours. If you do, you'd just be wasting your own money. Nothing will happen. After that, it should be working in full effect. There you go. Place that on the front. Finally, the additional potion that I promised you, the repellent. Now for this, you will want to anoint this to yourself and have each member of your party do so as well. A few drops 
on either side of the neck, a few drops on the wrist, a few drops on the stomach, and a few drops on the ankles. This should deflect any creatures from approaching you. Um, now they may try to get close, but so far we've had no human casualties after the creation of my repellent. Now, to begin, because we're dealing with what we believe is the vampiric sort of creature, this is the strongest garlic I could possibly source this garlic. Eats garlic. Skin and all. We want to cut and crush the rest. This is truly Crush into the potion. That's most likely the scent you smelled as you were walking by. I have been creating this pre-made, um, but it's going so quickly I just can't keep them in stock. So we will be adding this. spicy peppercorns. Please be careful. Do not use your bare hands to apply this potion to yourself. You'll want to use a cloth because if this gets on your fingers and you were to touch your eyes or god forbid some sensitive areas, You will not have a very happy day. No. All right. Just seem to do the trick here. your nose, we're going to be adding some oil from the stinking corpse lily. Don't say I didn't warn you. Smelling a little bit repugnantly is a lot better than being sucked dry, dead, from a vampire. But don't worry, it won't stink to 
too badly for too long because I add a few cinnamon sticks to mask the scent but the underlying quartz lily, garlic, peppercorns is enough to keep the vampires at bay now these lay in there to start soaking up the aroma and then again for the benefit of you, your party members, and everyone around you, I'm going to shave some kissy root. Now, here we have one, two, three. These look a bit like radishes, but if you were to consume one of these plainly, you would be babbling like a newborn. So please be careful with what you're eating in the forests around here, especially because you're not so local. I'm going to use my tool here, and we're going to shave on top. Just the top skin. It's just enough not to compromise the contents of the repellent, but quite enough to mask the smell for more humanoid noses. Finally, we need to mash in a bit of the flowered hops. This is what is going to bind our repellent together and make it possible to apply. These need to be mashed, of course. Now, even though I have combined a few better smelling scents to help the repellent, once you apply this for the first few hours or so, you're not going to want to get very close to anyone. That'll ruin a night. And if you do happen to consume this, well, it seems as though each person has been imitating different animal sounds. Imagine that. Imagine that. I wish I knew about that one when I was a young apothecary. Oh, the pranks I played. Okay. 
Now that this has been lightly mashed, we add. Now before I combine this, did you say that you have an orc in your party? I think I'm going to add one more ingredient. This won't do much for the rest of your party members. But... This grain should help any potential contact burns that this repellent could have on an orc. Let me know if it works. We don't get many coming through the town here. But I have been trained to serve many, many different types of people, creatures, and what have you, all across the world. Now, while this simmers, we need to give it a bit of air. Stand back slightly. good at this one. Let me pour it into a container for you. And we tie a little ribbon here. Here you have your vampiric creature repellent. This should last you your stay. When are you moving on? This should be more than enough. Again, you may give it a little shake or two. That shouldn't make much of a difference. The ingredients are well combined in this one. There we go. Now, before I send you on your way, I can't imagine you remembered all of my instructions for all of the potions you were purchasing from me. I didn't expect you to. So, let me write you a set of instructions. Well, while it is my main duty to create I also need my customers to be able to consume the potions in the correct manner, lest bodily or mental harm come unto them. So I like to write down a simple, almost abridged instructions here for you. That way you can refer to it at any time. So, for our, what was first? Stamina potion. Again, you can split that into one-fourth, so you may drink the whole bottle. I'll give you its shelf life. And extra instructions.
on next our stealth potion. Remember that the longevity of the potion will depend on how much you consume. It must be consumed orally. Please do not dump it on a wound. It will do simply nothing. And the repellent. Any more than that, you'll simply be wasting it. Any less, hmm. you're inviting a bit of danger. Be sure to apply with a cloth and don't get too close to others. This will also function as your receipt. Save the seal and bring it back to me if there are any problems. I have many customers that come in every day and I can't possibly remember all of them. But if I see my seal, I can be more assured that it was I that actually made the potion. I don't get many complaints. No, no, no. Many, many, many repeat customers. But of course, it would be bad business if I didn't give you some sort of comfort. Okay. Now. We simply... the wax onto our envelope here. seal it. There we go. No, it's not the most fancy seal in the world, but it's mine, and I recognize it. Now, it's time for payment. 
do you have for me? Oh. Yes. This will do perfectly. Pleasure doing business with you. Please go ahead and take your potions, take your receipt, and good luck to you and your party on all your adventures. Please, please come back. I always enjoy repeat business, and I'm sure that with the journey that you're on, you'll need many, many, many more potions. All right. I'll see you next time. Don't die. Okay. Nice to meet you.